Hey everybody, Josh Town here with the Town Watch. Thanks for stopping by today. We have a first for my channel. We're taking a look at this piece, the core diver from a brand called Ocean Crawler. I've heard about Ocean Crawler. I've known about them. I've liked a lot of what I've seen from afar, but this is the first one that I've had on my channel. This one was sent to me by Bill at Not A Watch Snob, so check him out. Uh, at his channel and I believe he also sells these watches on his website so thanks to him for sending this in for this quick overview video I'm not gonna call it a full review I only have this piece for a little while but we are gonna go over all the specs and features I'm gonna put it on my wrist give you a wrist shot and also give you a loom shot and tell you what I like and what I don't like about this watch so I believe this one right here this core diver is the version 2 model if I'm not correct on that you can correct me in the comments but they have various versions uh, each one uh, in in the colorway whatever colorway it's in is 125 units per colorway so I really like this one with the orange and blue that is going on here matches as well with this nice sailcloth strap that they have on it right here. Um, there's also a bracelet inside the box, but uh, really first impressions for me is that this is a solid piece. Definitely has some heft to it. It is a really uh, kind of a large size for me anyway. We're going to get some measurements in a second, but uh, definitely a hefty piece that feels feels like it's quality in the hand has a good weight to it um, and it's a good looking piece in my opinion kind of has a cushion case you might say almost has like a, a seiko turtle shape to it uh, when you first look at it but really enjoy the color on this one and really enjoy the dial here so this one uh, and i think most of these core divers are right around a thousand dollars so let's go over just quickly uh, a little bit of what you get with that kind of money here from Ocean Crawler. So you do get sapphire crystal, as you would expect, with AR coating. Uh, this bezel uh, is also sapphire, um, and it is fully luminous, which we'll see in a moment. Um, and it is a 120-click unidirectional bezel, so now is a good time to test that out. has a really solid nice crisp action really nice grip texture as well large bezel to be able to get a good purchase on so really enjoy that feels very very nice 316 l stainless steel with this watch you get mostly brushing for the finishing you get a few little chamfered edges with some polishing there you can see on the left side of the case at nine o'clock, there is that helium escape valve right there. Turn the watch over, there's a solid screw down case back with a nice design embossed into the back right there. The crown is signed as well, screwed down. And this watch is actually water resistant to 2000 feet or 600 meters. So it's gonna be definitely more than what you probably need um, but it is definitely a good hefty and a thick piece to provide all of that water resistance. You get a Salida SW200-1 here, Swiss made movement in this watch, and they're using C3 Super Luminova. One thing before we get the dimensions that I'd like to say is that the packaging is quite impressive. I really like the box that it comes in, has kind of a, a nice wood top to it and some other materials down below push button and uh, just nice presentation which i appreciate comes with a nice cardboard box as well but let's jump into the dimensions here to see how big this piece really is from side to side on the case it's just coming in over 44 millimeters we'll say it's 44 uh, you get a case thickness here of 15.7 as I'm measuring it and you get a lug to lug distance of 50 and a lug opening of 22 so those are the dimensions like I said I feel like 
for my smaller wrist, it's going to wear big, but let's check it out right now on my wrist. So I was wearing my Santos today, and this wears a little bit bigger than that, but there it is on my six and a half inch wrist. I think I could get by with it. It's not overhanging really that much. Definitely has a good thickness to it, as you can see on the top of my wrist there, but feels comfortable. And although I said it was hefty in the hand, doesn't feel too bad on the wrist and feels pretty good on that sailcloth strap as well. And here is a quick shot of the loom. Definitely glowing really, really nicely with that C3 Super Luminova. All right, let's take a closer look at the dial. We haven't talked much about it, but I really like the dial on this watch. I like all the color that is going on there, a bright orange chapter ring around the outside. Uh, you get a nice blue sunburst center dial there. The indices are polished nicely. They have uh, some nice sloping going on toward the end of those indices, and uh, they look great. Porthole date at the six o'clock position. Probably would have preferred a color matching date wheel here, but that doesn't bother me too much. And I like the really large minute hand in orange. Second hand matches that. Just an overall nice looking dial. So what are my likes and dislikes here with this watch in the short amount of time that I've had it? My only two dislikes would be is that it is a little bit large for me. I don't usually wear a large watch like this, although I could get by with it. And it is a little hefty. You can feel the weight of it when you hold it. When it's on your wrist, it's not that bad though. I like a lot about this watch. I, we just talked about the dial. That's probably my favorite part of the whole watch. I like that it's really legible. Uh, and the loom is good, so it's legible at night as well. And I feel like this is definitely a very solid, well-built quality piece. You can feel the durability of it. You can see it uh, when you have it in person. And it, it's just a, a, a really nice watch. So if you're not familiar with Ocean Crawler, I encourage you to check them out. Thanks again to Bill at Not A Watch Snob for loaning this watch in for a short time. Check him out if you don't know his channel, and I think he sells these on his website, so I'll leave a link down below for that as well, where you can buy watches like this one right from him. But thanks so much for tuning in today to The Town Watch. Please hit that like button if you liked this video. We always appreciate your support. But again, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.